in this video, we're going to fix undeposited funds the correct way. Now, the exercise is going to be over here on the right hand side, and it's pulled from our advanced level pro advisor certification course. If you want more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link below in the description. Let's dive right in and read through our scenario for today. You have just started working with Craig and you notice that he has quite a few transactions in his undeposited funds account. You have confirmed with Craig that he has deposited all the money he has received. What is the correct way to clean this up? Let's find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left hand side of my screen. This is where we will be working in for this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is recreate the problem. So to do that, from the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over transactions and then select bank transactions. So over here is that left navigation bar. Here is transactions, hover over that and then select bank transactions. Now, if uh, you wanted to, you could also click on bank transactions here. It is a bookmark, but just know uh, as you're working in client books, it may not be a bookmark. So that is the way to get to this banking center. Now, if this is your first time in this area, you will get a pop up from QBO just saying here's some more information about what's going on in this area. Um, so you can just go ahead and click out of that pop up. We're going to click on the 408 deposit line to expand it. We are not going to match it. We are just going to click on it. So scroll down a little bit until you find $408. Go ahead and click anywhere on that line to expand it. And then we are going to click on deposit to pull it up. So deposit is right here. Go ahead and click on that and it will pull up momentarily. Here we go. So on the black bar at the bottom, we're going to click more and then select delete. We are trying to get rid of this bank deposit transaction. So that is why we are deleting it to cause the problem to show up all these things, these transactions that are un undeposited funds. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on that more down here at the bottom, and then you're going to click on delete. You're going to get a pop-up warning asking if you're sure you want to do this. And we do. So click on the green yes button. And that one has been deleted. Now with the, trans uh, the deposit transaction gone, QBO now has nothing to match the deposit to in the bank feed. Clients could find find could use find match to locate the correct payments for the bank deposit, but more often than not, they're just going to click add here instead uh, without doing too much investigation. So on that same line, we are going to click add. So scroll down until you find it. Um, that deposit has disappeared. We're just going to click add. And by clicking add, instead of matching all the funds remaining in undeposited funds, um, it is now causing it to be overstated. So to correct this problem the correct way, you will need to find the correct matches. So we want to click on categorize to get back to what we just added. That is right here. Go ahead and click on that. And this is the one that we had just done. Now, in a real life scenario, you would need to search through several transactions to find the added deposit. So in our case, there is only one um, we added in step eight. So we are going to click on deposit uncategorized income, which is right here. And this is what will show up for us. This is what we saw earlier. But let's take a look at the deposit that QBO created when you clicked add in that previous step when we were on the bank feeds. So this top grid here, this contains all the payments that are currently sitting in undeposited funds. None of the payments are checked because none of them are included. You can see these are all blank. Um, so they have not been included in this 408. But where is this 408 coming from? Well, if you scroll down to the bottom, there is this section called add funds to this deposit. And this contains all deposits that are not associated with 
payments. So this is where QBO has lumped the $408 transaction that we added from the bank feed. It didn't have it matched up to any of these things because it didn't have the bank deposit transaction that we had deleted. So it just lumped it all together and just put it in right here. So our next task is to remove the lump deposit and select the payments that are equal to that amount. So in the add funds to this deposit section, we're going to click on the trash can icon next to 408. That's right here. There's that trash icon. Go ahead and click on that to delete it. Now the transaction is currently showing as zero and that's because we're going to click on the checkbox next to Amy's Bird Sanctuary and John Melton. So this will total for $408. Click on that one next to Amy's Bird Sanctuary and then the one next to John Melton. You can see that the total is now showing as $408. So we're going to now just click on the down arrow next to save and new and then select save and close. So click that down arrow and then select save and close. And now that bank deposit has been um, saved and you can see it's changed now from uncategorized income to now deposits. So you have now successfully created a new deposit removing the items from undeposited funds and match the de deposit to the bank fee transaction. Now as a note here, this method will not affect reconciliation status of the transactions. But that is how you would fix undeposited funds the correct way. If you like this exercise and you want to do more like it, or if you would like more information about the Advanced Level Pro Advisor Certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description, and I will see you in the next exercise.